Hola, it's your boy Christian, and I'm back from Alola. <laughs> right back to Johto. Welcome, people, to another episode. Very first episode, if you're not counting the episode zero of Pokemon Fitlock. And um, out of the few votes and the personal messages I've gotten, uh, looks like you guys have chosen Garchomp. Garchomp, the one that sounds like a Chikorita, to be the, <laughs> the, the champion, let's say. And, ooh, yeah, nice. Alrighty, people, let's get it. Um, where are we gonna name the guard chomp, though? Uh, gonna name it. Uh, Chico, like a Chikorita. <laughs> Alright, so now we got this big beefy Garchomp at our side. Uh, we should probably uh, head off to that one house that we're being told to go to. Um, also for reference, the rules are also in the description again for this kind of playthrough. Um, but the... Uh, sorry. The Fitlock does, and Nuzlocke part of it doesn't actually start until I get Pokeballs. So this will probably be just like a little baby episode. We're gonna scout what we can get here uh, in a second. And yeah, I'm actually gonna skip this tutorial for right now. All right, Route 29. So let's see what kind of Pokemon we can catch in here. Uh, apparently nothing. Um, nothing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, well, I know there's an item if I take this right path. Uh, so maybe we'll find something here. No Pokemon. Okay. Not a single Pokemon, and we've already caught this item. Or obtained, I should say. Shed Shell. I don't remember what that does, but... There we go. Alright, so I was with the like that if I had Pokeballs, this would be my encounter. Is it really a fucking Weedle? <laughs> um... But yeah, if uh, if I had Pokeballs, that would be where the Nuzlocke starts, and that would be the first encounter. If I didn't catch that, that's it. I'm out. I can't catch another Pokemon in that area. Ooh, okay, so we can get a Sneasel. We couldn't get a Weavile, though, because we had to trade for that. No, we don't. That one's the one where you have, like, the Razor Claw, I think, and you had to evolve it at night or something. I don't know. Something convoluted. Alright, maybe we can find some. No, because there's like usually like three or four different Pokemon you can catch in the area. Um, one more encounter. There we go. What else can we get? Mistrevious would be. It's not a good Pokemon, but I would love to have one. Also, I just kind of realized I'm running away from these Pokemon. I should be battling them. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do this uh, quest with the old man real quick. It's like a three minute thing where all he does is show you around. Oh yeah, he gives you the running shoes in this one. Okay. Ooh, well the feature is now, old man. Put those shoes on. Now I never have to hold B down again. I can just hold directions. Alright. Um, what? What's going on? Oh, you're back. Hi there. Huff, huff, I made it. Forgot one more thing. It's another token for me. Oh, yeah. Because it usually gives you, like, the town map. Um, and, like, the old games. But I guess it gives you both in this one, and I'm okay with that. But I like how in the new games you just kind of have the running shoes to begin with. We can have the most OU team right off the bat. Oh, and we have Dragon Rage. This is going to be the easiest thing. Dragon Rage kills pretty much everything. <laughs> oh, my lord. Um, yeah, I'm so much more excited now for... Oh, my lord, 120... That's one level right there. We only killed one Pokemon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This would be a perfect place to grind in these early levels. Carvana? Okay. Yo, we, we have some Pokemon right off the bat here that I would not mind catching. 
<laughs> I'll put it that way, people. Alright, and you are a stick. We found a stick, which, um. Is the stick the one that you give to Farfetched? Yeah! Okay, what's Shed Shell? Tough, discarded uh, Pokemon that also holds the switch. Okay, so it's like a free, like, switch. Um, let's talk to this guy, because I think he gives us something for the Apricorts. Apricot? I forget what it's called. Apricorns. Alright. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the Apricorns are the little thingies right here. Um, basically, when you have one, you take it to a guy in Azalea Town, and he will make you Pokeballs for free after you slave the Slowpoke. Spoilers! Um, <laughs> what else is in here? Cavana, irrelevant. There's gotta be something else in here. Catch these! Ah! I need Pokeballs now. Oh, I hope that's not our first encounter though, because those can run away. Those run away turn one. So, unless this is like a Master Ball right here, I don't need it. It's not, so who cares? Actually, that's going to be extremely useless unless we catch it in Arceus. So, like, why do I care? Why do I care? I don't. I don't. Right, so now we're here at the Pokemon man's house and we got the mystery egg and I think even the egg will hatch into something completely different and we can keep the egg uh, as long as it follows the guidelines because one of the extra rules that I'm doing for this is I can't have dual typings um, so what I mean by that is a uh, guard trump's a good example it's a dragon's ground type I believe and the primary typing is dragon as a matter of fact, I might just check that here in a second. Um, so, yeah, it's primary dra dragon. And that means I can't catch another dragon primary typing. Um, so if something else was like flying dragon, that'd be okay. But nothing's flying dragon. It's usually dragon flying. So that's another rule that we have. Right, Garchomp? Seems to want to return to the lab. You know what? Let's do it. And let's hear this very distressed phone call from Professor Elm. H Hello, Taco? It's a disaster. Um, it's just terrible. What should I do? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Wimp. Um, anyways, let's head back. Let's head back. Uh, actually, I wonder what my opponent's Pokemon are, too. That's going to be super interesting. Because, uh, whenever I do Nuzlocke's, um, another one. Is it still Raikou, though? It is still Raikou. Okay. Um, whenever I do Nuzlocke's that are randomized, like, privately, because I like to do that occasionally, um, they always tend to have booty Pokemon. They really do. But I did also make it so that their starter is, uh, continuous. So, like, we'll see that same starter throughout this entire journey. All things said. Dun, ba, dun, ba. Oh, okay, so I'm a wimp because I chose Garchomp. <laughs> I mean, Garchomp will, like, destroy you, man. You seen the first episode of X and Y? <laughs> like, that Garchomp was nothing to mess with. So, I mean, he didn't really have much of a choice between Starly and Squirtle. <laughs> but I guess no one wants to start with a starter. So, I mean, I don't blame you, bud. But, somehow Star Raptor is also super fitting for you. <laughs> so, I'm okay with that. I'm super okay with that. Jacqueline? <laughs> so, its name was randomized? <laughs> so, we're going to have to name you Jacqueline? <laughs> yeah, we saw your name. This is Jacqueline. Wow, your dad really did hate you. <laughs> All right.
right, so let's get going. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, wait, we can't go that way. All right. Officer, I have something to tell you. Um, but it, you're going to have to believe me on this one, okay? It, it's not the sim... Like, the name is not what you think it is. Actually, Jacqueline wouldn't even fit with the number of spaces you gave me. Alright, so hidden Easter egg here. I'm going to name you N D B. Because N D B is as dead as Fighting Smeargle is. <laughs> Which, in hindsight, that's probably why I should have named you Smeargle. <laughs> Whatever. Taco, I'm glad I understand you're innocent. Well, I mean, it took very little convincing. Alright, so now we have the mystery egg handed to Elm. And... Let me go, ready. Let me go! I wanna go home. Alright, um, I think Lyra up here gives me Pokeballs, so... I think I also have to sit through a tutorial. I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> see? Just like that. That's how you catch Pokemon. Alright, so now we got our Pokeballs, which means the Nuzlocke officially starts. So now, the very first Pokemon in this area is the Pokemon that I have to catch. That took one step. I wasn't ready for that. Can we... Ah, It had to be a Sneasel. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, but I'm worried about how I'm going to catch it. Because Tackle will probably kill it. And I don't want to waste all my Pokeballs on it. Uh, and I really hope it doesn't have an Ice-type move. I'm going to try and tackle it. No, you know what? I can Sandstorm it. That will do residual damage. Ooh, you can't taunt me now, homeboy. You can't do it now, homeboy. Um... You know what? I think I'm gonna try and tackle it. Oh my lord. Th that actually worked out super well. But now we literally have like one turn to catch it. <laughs> okay, two turns at best. Um, oh my lord. Oh, uh, that worked. That worked. <coughs> it's only... It's only level two! You can't be that difficult. Oh my lord, you have to get caught or you die. Do you not understand the Cecil? Hey! Okay, okay, our first Pokemon was caught, Sneasel. Welcome to the team, Sneasel. Its paws conceal its sharp claws. Uh, bars? If attacked, it suddenly extends the claws and throws them away. Um, just because your description was hot fire bars. But my lord, um, like, Cecil, you didn't have to give me that much trouble. I'm gonna go heal real quick. <laughs> okay, I'm also gonna be, uh, switch grinding just a little bit. Um... Just so Sneasel doesn't die to one hit and everything else. Because uh, if you guys remember, we do have um, quite some Pokemon to battle coming up. And uh, that that's going to be an entirely different level of uh, stressful if we can't do anything about it, really. Alrighty, so after a small tidbit of grinding, we're going to go ahead and head up to the north now. Uh, as soon as we buy some Pokeballs, specifically uh, 10 Pokeballs. Um, wait, do I even have enough? Yes, I do. Because we'll get the Premier Ball for free. So, gimme. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. And Premier Ball is just an extra Pokeball, basically. But, you know, you know why not? Why not? Why not? Um, yeah, just so you guys know where I'm at. Um, bars is super easy to raise compared to Chico. Um... Just because you look at that, and that's level 7 already. Um, that's still level 8. 
but like there's a huge difference in XP. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about how much trouble this might cause. <laughs> so regardless, first encounter here is please not a right call. An armado, okay. Um, I'm kind of down for that, but I don't want to have bars out for this. Um, also, I don't know how easy it will be to catch Armaldo. Just literally speaking, it's not a base one evolution. Um, so it's capture rate's already probably like insanely high. Aside from that, um, it's not a Pokemon that you normally obtain, even in its base form. And uh, Wonder Gun did nothing. Okay, I got real worried for a second. And now it's hardening. Alright, come on now. Come on now. Um, Want to try just maybe a little bit more? Okay, so red now. Uh, you know, just uh, for shits and giggles, we're gonna try this Premier Ball. And this might take a while, so. Never mind! <laughs> I'm so okay with that, too. Um, also, I can't ever say this Pokemon's name without saying it in Spanish, basically. Uh, as you guys have already witnessed. Its enormous retractable claws can cut through most anything. Its entire body is clad in sturdy plates. Uh, so, yes, I have the perfect nickname for you, Armaldo. It's going to be Miguel. Uh, G. Miguel. <laughs> um, also, I'm noticing a theme to all these Pokemon. Whoops. Um, yeah, these all have claws. That's totally not intentional, but hey, it's uh, a thing. Alright, so let me just go ahead and heal up as soon as I can fucking fit through the door. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue. We'll try and make it to the first town at least. Because uh, there's only like a few trainers, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, but you never know sometimes with these nose locks. You could run into something completely unexpected. Alright, so let's go back to normal pacing so we don't have that nasty uh, frame rate skips. And. Ball toy. Okay. We could have had a ball toy, but I'm okay. I'm very much more okay with um, Armaldo. Miguel. And we almost knocked that out. Oh my lord. Let's go ahead and continue with that. Ball toys out. Okay, I thought... No, uh, we still have like maybe 30 more EXP to go. Wrong way. Alright. Um, I'm half tempted to try Armaldo in front. Um, Armaldo is primary rock, I believe. So let's check that out real quick. Summary. Rock bug. Okay. Um... Hmm. It's defense and speed. That's actually a perfect nature right there. <laughs> Relax nature. Alright, let's go. Alright, buddy. You're gonna get your sh shit rocked. Never mind. <laughs> um. I'm actually switching out right now. Because I'm like 90% sure that Togekiss can learn Aura Sphere at level 1. And Aura Sphere would obliterate Sneasel. Okay, Extreme Seed. That's not too bad. I think it'll still do a decent amount of damage. Oh, okay, never mind. I forget. Garchomp's a boss above all else. And it's not a Fairy type yet, so you still get hit by this. This Fairy type didn't exist in Gen 4. Get on my level, people. Dragons still rule the world. Alright, Chico, it's level 9. It's not even bad. Uh, can I get your number? Uh, no thanks. I'd rather you really don't ever call me. 
All right, and next Pokemon trainer is Veronica, Tamer Veronica with a Lux Ray. Oh my gosh, uh, these trainers literally have power. <laughs> but I can see why the other guy lost now, because Lux Ray. Well, I actually wasn't the other Pokemon a little bit higher level, anyways. Regardless, Bars is definitely moving up in the world. Level nine, calm down, Bars. And Sandshrew. I want to switch into Miguel for this one. Because Miguel hasn't seen any kind of action. Miguel's probably going to be really hard to raise, too, now that I think about it. We'll see, said the blind man. Water gun. And not even half. My gosh. Let's speed this up just a little bit. Because it'll take one extra turn, anyways. And all you did was defense curl. This is why you're a bad Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Alright. And let's get up out of here. Uh, I think there's another trainer up here that has like six Pokemon. Uh, so I'm going to speed through all of that. After we speed through this... Um, hi Metagross. Let's uh, knock you out real quick. Alright, so I think you're the one that has six Pokemon. Oh, no, you only have two. Okay, that's not even bad. And it's a Cherim of all Pokemon, so let's <laughs> crit you, first of all. Bars level 10. Not even bad. Wants to learn Screech. Um, Leer? Because, I mean, Screech is just a better Leer. Not that we need either Pokemon, really. Um, Just gonna go into... Chico, just to uh, go ahead and just end it, because I don't need to deal with this. <laughs> Chico's so vital now. Like, we're going to breeze through the rest of this entire game just because of Chico. Mother! <sighs> Mother. Uh, Taco. Oh, yeah, she's... Uh, don't send my money. I need my money. <laughs> it's Thursday, 10.50. Is it really? Oh, my lord. I forget that that follows my real time. <laughs> Completely forgot about that, to be honest. Alright, and the sun current coming through. Um, I wonder how much damage Quick Attack will do. Enough! It did more than enough. Sun current is such a useless Pokemon because of some flora. But it's already, like, stupid weak, so it's just like, why do you even exist? And I'm not even gonna bother fighting you because BS defenses. Um, actually, now that I remember, um, we do have one more encounter in Dark Cave. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that here in a second. Let's catch the Salic Berry. Um, let's see, let's see. Alright. Well, I'm not trying to waste my time here. Just really want to catch a Pokemon. Okay, there we go. And it's a B drill, which we can still catch. I just hope that. Actually, I'm gonna check real quick which move does less damage. Scratch does 40. Quick attack does 40. Um, I'm scared to knock it out regardless. So let's just go for the priority. Because it's probably gonna knock it out. And there's our fourth, like, okay, so that's a good example, I guess. This is a nice tutorial uh, episode. Now, because I've knocked out that Beedrill, um, I can no longer catch any Pokemon in this cave. So, I had to forfeit every single encounter. Even if it's shiny, I can't catch it in the cave anymore. Regardless, we have one more item to catch here from this Apricot. I kind of wish these were randomized, too. That would be really cool. Uh, there's one more trainer here, one more item here. Why did it ring like that? What's what's blue mail? All right, stationary. Check. 
Yeah, it's nothing special. Uh -uh. I, I will look into that later. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let's see what you got. Alright, four Pokemon. We're probably just gonna skip through this. Alright, now that everything's said and done, um, I'm not gonna give you my phone number either, because you're a scrub. Get wrecked. Uh, Pokemon. Okay. Ooh, a Bagon. We could have had Bagon up in here. That would have been power. Would have. But now we gotta kill you, so get wrecked. Oh man, no, we couldn't have had Bagon though, because um, that would have been our dual typing role right there. See, tutorial level, or tutorial episode. Um, and now we got the reverse recorder, which is nifty, I suppose. All right, bye, Lyra. You a relevant piece of a character. Um, so yeah, we've made it to Violet City, which is a nice stopping point for us. Now, you guys. I enjoy the support that I get. I really do. Um, whenever I get text messages from friends and uh, comments in the bottom of the videos, like it, it makes me smile like a moron. So, <laughs> uh, you guys have a good one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and rest up. Call it a night right here. So, uh, peace out, guys. <laughs>